Hi everyone, it's Omar from Microsoft Dev Radio. We're about five months into 2024, and now more than ever is a perfect time to start looking at which Microsoft Azure certifications you can take and pass to help you grow your future. Whether you're aiming for a new position in your company that you're already in, or you're aiming to get a new job or jump into a new career field. Microsoft Azure is the place that you want to be to get a leg up on your competition. Nowadays, cloud expertise is a required skill for developers. Now, some of you may be asking, Omar, why Azure over any of the other certifications? Well, in quarter one of 2022, AWS held 33% of the market share while Azure was only at 23%. Although not as popular as AWS, Azure was seeing a 2% increase over the quarters to come, now reaching 23% in quarter four of 2022. And it's looking to grow. Azure is very, very prominent in the government sector and companies that already have Microsoft as its existing platform for its other internal uses. It offers robust options in online cloud security, the hybrid model, and platform as a service. Now let's get to the meat and potatoes. Which certification do I choose first to start my journey? The certification you choose depends on two things. What cloud knowledge you already possess and then what field you want to get into once you pass the certification. Here's a breakdown of some of the options. For level one, we have the foundational certifications. AZ900, the Microsoft Azure Fundamentals. The DP900, the basics of handling data in Microsoft Azure. And AI900, the basics of AI in Azure. At those levels, you'll get some base level understanding of not only the products that Microsoft has to offer, but what data is, what cloud computing is, and what AI is in 2024. Now, if you want to get a leg up and really want to impress people that are looking to employ you, take a look at the tier two certification. These are what we call the administrator and developer certifications. We have the AZ-104, Microsoft Azure Administrator. These are ideal for people who have some cloud experience and want a comprehensive view of what Microsoft Azure is. The AZ-204, Microsoft Azure Developer. This is suitable for the developers who want to specialize in Microsoft Azure. Then we have the specialized certifications. This is tier three. These are the people who really want to flex their expertise in Microsoft Azure and the cloud computing experience. You have ones that are data related like Azure Data Scientist, Data Engineer, or Data Administrator. You have ones that are security related like Azure Security Engineer. And then you have the ones that are network related like Azure Network Engineer. Now, Microsoft itself has a lot of great free resources in order for you to gain knowledge in Azure and the cloud computing world. You can actually use Microsoft Learn during the exams. This new policy has sparked mixed reactions, but it's a great way for you to familiarize yourself with the content and real world situations. In real life, a developer has documentation at his or her disposal to use. So it's great to get familiarized with the idea of being presented with a scenario and then finding a way to find a solution. I'm gonna give you an example exam preparation path. First, use Microsoft Learn. Microsoft Learn has detailed modules and labs that can present real life situations that you need to know in order to not only pass the exam, but that can help you in real life. These things include modules, interactive labs, and knowledge checks along the way. Practice tests. There are a plethora of practice tests that exist online. I would seek them out and take them as many times as possible while I'm studying for the exam. Number three, I would subscribe to Microsoft Dev Radio. Here on this channel, we provide great content that can help you pass the exam of your choice. If you follow these steps, you will be able to pass any Microsoft Azure exam of your choosing. Good luck to you.